This video explains experiment 3 on the preparation of diethyl maliate. The figure shows the overall reaction equation for this reaction. These are the chemicals needed for this experiment. Where 12 gram of malic and hydride in a round bottom flask using digital balance. At the film hood, measure 25 ml of absolute ethanol using measuring cylinder. Transfer the ethanol from measuring cylinder into a small beaker. Then transfer it into the round bottom flask using filter funnel. Add the film hood, transfer 50 ml of toluene into measuring cylinder. Transfer the toluene into a small beaker. Next, pour the toluene into round bottom flask using filter funnel. Add the fume hood, transfer 2 ml of sulfuric acid into the measuring cylinder. Stir the mixture using glass rod. Add 2 ml sulfuric acid using dropper and stir using glass rod. Add a few pieces of boiling chips into the round bottom flask. Connect the hose on the lower arm of the condenser to the water tap and allow the hose on the upper arm to drain to the sink for effective cooling system. Switch on the heating mantle and reflux the mixture for 15 minutes. Switch off and remove the heating mantle. Close the water tap and let the mixture to cool down. Detach the round bottom flask from the retort stand. Pour the reaction mixture into a beaker which contains 150 ml distilled water. This is how you set up the separatory funnel. Pour the aqueous reaction mixture into the separatory funnel. Next, we're gonna pour sodium hydrogen carbonate into the separatory funnel. Shake the separatory funnel as shown in this video.
put the funnel back to the retort stand. Observe the formation of two layer. Take off the stopper to release the air pressure. Withdraw the aqueous layer. Pour the sodium hydrogen carbonate again. Continue by repeating the previous steps. Pour 50 ml of distilled water. Repeat the funnel shaking step. Finally, we draw the organic layer. Now, we're gonna add magnesium sulfate. Add sufficient amount of magnesium sulfate and stir using glass rod. Observe the formation of precipitation. Filter the solution into 100 ml round bottom flask. Clamp the round bottom flask and put the heating mantle under the round bottom flask. Add a few pieces of boiling chips into the round bottom flask as anti-bumping in the heating process. This is how you set up the distillation system.
open the water tap. This is the complete setup for the distillation system. Boil the product between 220 to 224 degrees Celsius. Collect the sample in a conical flask before temperature reaches 220 degrees Celsius. Starting at 220 degrees, collect the sample in a vial 